If you'd like to learn a cool armbar from back mount, stay tuned and watch this short video. If you want to master MMA fundamentals, check out my instructional called MMA Essential Lessons. In it you can learn about clinch takedowns, boxing, grappling, Muay Thai, ground and pound, Thai and puppet master clinch, escapes from inferior positions and shooting takedowns. Check out the link in the description below. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net where we teach coaches, fighters and enthusiasts how to train smart and not just hard. And in today's video I'll be showing you a very cool and sneaky armbar from back mount. In MMA, even if I have back mount, I want to be on top so I can hit him. But sometimes you end up on bottom. Now, the usual way is to look for the choke. And it works. And this is the number one submission from back mount. Rear naked choke. Works fine, great. But, at the same time, many people defend it. So I try to get it, he defends, then I have to fight him, I have to try again, and so, and so on, and so on. We have a solution to that, a sneaky arm bar. So, so I'm here, maybe he defends, so what I do is this. I come up here, So we're going to drill this both sides. So easy. No, we don't defend that. Okay. So here, I need it here. I go see my feet. I move here. I push the head away. I move my head sideways. This is strong. Strong. Leg swings. Pushes the head down. Arm bar. Then. You do the other side as well. Get the arm here. You can do it here. This is, it has to be strong. Here. Pull sideways, push the head away. Swing the leg. Push down. Gently, arm bar. Do not do this. Do not put the foot on the floor, no. It can be done that way, but don't do it, this is quicker. So no, don't do this. It can be done, but the first version is quicker, okay? So we are going to drill. One, it goes back. Now, other seat belt. Two. So we're going to switch one seat belt, other seat belt. One seat belt, other seat belt. Okay? Some people have problem with this leg. They can't do that. Like this and that. No good. Get down to the side. So I can attack it from here as well. It's easier, actually it's easier from here. But usually he will defend by going up. Yes, exactly. Now, this is strong. I am pushing his head away. Moving sideways. And look at now, look at this. Look at this. This swings. Swings. Swings and pushes the head down. Stay here. So this one. Here. Not here. Not like this with the hip. Like this. Again. Here. very important to hide your intention. You have to hide your intention. If I start fighting here and I do this, he's going to know. 
he's going to know what's going to happen, so he stops. Instead, I might try to throw him, and then I go for it. Sure. I'm not going to do this, and then I wait, wait, wait. No, he's going to stop it. He's going to catch my arm, or whatever. Yeah, no. So here, I'm not letting him know what I'm planning. Maybe here, maybe here. Then, And here's this armbar in EBI 14, a submission only grappling event where Craig Jones attempted this armbar on Gordon Ryan. Uh, Ryan was able to escape but still it was a very very tight armbar and a very well executed one. Uh, we will see this again in slow motion. He has back control and he transitions to an armbar. Here very nice, very slick. He put a lot of pressure on uh, Gordon Ryan's arm, but Ryan was able to escape. Still, it was a very, very nice transition from back control. Many MMA champions use ground and pound as their go-to strategy. If you want to learn how to do it properly, check out my total ground and pound blueprint instructional. The link is in the description. What kind of attacks do you do from back mount except a rear naked choke? Do you sometimes attack with this armbar? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it and you can also subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like a more in-depth MMA training, check out my instructionals. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I will see you again very soon.